nothing like good old New York traffic. Love New York. Oh wait, look, we're not in New York. That looks like Connecticut somewhere. I love that kind. I don't like the traffic kind. Anyway, we're somewhere in the middle of Winnipeg and uh, in a car and we're going places and you'll find out where in a little bit. So we're doing the Lido shuffle on down there. One more for the road. Yeah, it's moving again. Oh, we made it to the right place. I love that kind. Look, the gin kind. Yeah. Gin and tonic happening in a fancy green glass. Okay, so we're here and I'm on the gin and tonic card now. I love that kind. You can see the Lyman. The Lyman. You can see the Lyman. So anyway, we're here and we're gonna head down to the bitch now and see the water and the sand and all that on the bitch. So we'll see what that's about. And uh, I'm gonna be hanging out here. Fucking, uh, you know, pretty nice place for a little cabin in the woods kind of thing. This turns into a pool table. You can actually see the billiard balls right here in that you like take the things out and flip them upside down or I forget exactly, or you just take them off. I forget exactly how it works. It's been a while. There's a horsey and a frozer. They got a little frozer there, one of the little guys kind. And uh, there's a little loft up there and a couple of bedrooms and shit and a little porch out here. And I'll show you some of the signs. Here's one right here you can see for now. I think it's mounted the right way, pretty sure. Stereo kind. So anyway, we're gonna go down to the bitch when we'll be back later. So anyway, we're just walking through people's yards and that, just I guess that's what's done here. And we're heading on down to the bitch. I was here once before, a couple of years ago. I didn't get any video of that kind. So we'll wait till we get down there now. I seem to remember being invited into somebody's house along the way back once, like a year, a couple of years ago when I was here. I don't remember. But uh, I didn't know who they were. I didn't know who I was. And that's pretty much that. Pot of porties that are nice. Hmm. What do we have there? No, that one's not. Hmm. A well, furball. chair. A fur thing. You see it. A no, furry too. animal. Interesting foliage. Very interesting. Never seen anything quite like that. Lighter ones. No diving and you're skivvying. And swim at your own risk. We're not even going to go in that kind. You know, it might be nice probably this kind of year. This kind of year, you know, people have, you know, they, they get on the skip, you know, and take the take the skip out. There's no railing here, so we're, you know, we're gonna fall off the dock high. He's on his boats. And this is what we came for. It's a good thing this whole dock is. No, like the, I don't know if you can tell because I'm on it, so you can't tell, but it, it is shimmying back and forth. Not a great thing. Go out over there. Boat. Sit down, you're rocking. Rocking the boat, eh? All the little boats. Cabinated. Cabinated along the ways. She was here for a fireworks battle for her. And uh, I don't know what's actually down over there, but. To scrape the barnacles off her hull. To scrape the barnacles off her hull. It's a little off. Somebody left their off over here. Hmm. Hmm. All the boats here say CT. I wonder how the hell that happened. Oh, this isn't good. Look, I'm 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 empty, and I've been empty, kind. You can't see me because of the sky type, but uh, anyway, we're heading back so we could refill because uh, we love that kind. And then we're gonna get the fooded and all kinds of shit like that. So, yes. yeah. oh, see you back. The most important part, the barbecue. Oh, it's just high end like that. Well, I gotta clean that out. So, I love how the all the grates are like chinaized. Yeah. Like that. That's great. In fact, it is. It's 
triple grade, actually. Yep. So now you know you just can't buy barbecue anymore because even that doesn't mean anything anymore. It used to, but you know, I told you that kind. You can't have it anymore. The kebabs, JD's and like, and then the kebabs. The bobs of Ka. So if you'd like to live like a king like Jay, just send me a PM and uh, we'll talk about that guy, <laughs> even though I happen to be on vacation on somebody else's dime. Yeah. Choochin, ladies and gentlemen, it's Choochin. Yeah. Uh, sauce, please? Yes, sauce indeed. Are you going to pre sauce the sauce? I'm pre saucing a little bit. You're a very saucy fellow. Well, I'm English. I'm allowed to be a dirty old man now. <laughs> this, by the way, is uh, dinosaur barbecue, by the way. How that kind is, tomorrow we're going to make our own barbecue back at uh, where we're staying and shit. And, uh, yeah. So that'll be kind of cool, too. We got the bone-sucking kind. That's pretty good, but also real expensive type. So, yeah. So what do you think? Are they all going to fit on the dirty old grill? Yep. Oh, they're all going to fit. We're not having a double grill night, damn it. Okay. I don't know. We don't have enough people for that kind. We need like 30 people for double grill night. Yeah. That didn't last near long enough. I don't know what's wrong. They must be making these drinks weaker now. That one didn't last long at all. Now you're gonna grill these like there ain't no hot spots on this grill. There are hot spots. I there know where are. they are. So I'll be rotating so that they don't always stay on the hot spots. Well, that's a pain in the ass because there's like no room to breathe there. It is a poor workman who blends his food. But if they're pieces of shit to start with... Now, oh, look at this guy go. Look at this high-end technique he's got. I don't know, I always get like a custard cup and pour it in that. I don't know, look at this guy go. Oh, it's too lazy to go inside. <laughs> look at him uh, stipple the brush into the meats and the panoply. Stippling... The stippling technique ensures proper flavor, eh? Yep. That's good. That's good. I love the barbecue kind. Oh look, we had double sunglasses today. Nerds are sunglasses today. Yeah, here, let me fix that kind. I beg my pard, indeed. Now, I don't know why you'd want to keep the water off the grass unless it's entirely poison. Or maybe the sign just lives here. There's some sort of flitter, and I think in this thing is the plump to go with it. And your water all goes through this Fikakta hose here. That's actually rather cute. <laughs> and there's some other cool signs inside. Hopefully I'll get a chance to show you later. And the big, uh, you know, the big switch for the water over there. Love that kind. Apparently this cabin doesn't have the winter kind built in, so you have to, like, evacuate then. So that's what they do. I don't know. I'm just invited here as a, as a quest. Every now and again as a quest, you know. So. Oh, my part. So there is, uh, some firewood and a kayak. A little bit of a backyard and a boulder, big boulder. I wonder if there's the secret room with the uh, with the shady mushrooms under that, like Sir Graham on, uh, you know, King's Quest. He had to move the boulder and use his dagger and shit to find the magic mushrooms and get high off that kind to get to get the kingdom and shit, or something like that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about. You might want to review King's Quest and how to beat the game. What is kind of cool is even though the cabin doesn't have winter kind, it does have summer kind. I know Sharky 626 would enjoy this. This is an all style. I don't know what kind that is, but it's an all style. And uh, here's uh, some information. 
So I'll just park the camera here for a couple of seconds. You can pause here. This is one of those split systems. It looks like one goes up over there kind and one goes up over here kind. So that's all I know about it. It's not on, probably won't be on. And that looks like an old, yes, TNI, Telephone Network Exchange, with a padlock. Pretty awesome. And there is actually, it appears to be, you know, um, POTS service, plain old telephone service here, over copper line. So I don't know how they run that over, you know, country kind, but they do. And it's still here kind or something. But yeah. Can you imagine the dial-up speeds you might get? You know, you might get close to 56K with, uh, you know, copper line kind. Real copper line. How it used to be kind. Never know. You never know. But of course everybody has a phone and their other interwebs kind over here, so. I don't know if anybody has high speed, if that even exists here or not, but I don't know. Anyway, the barbecue is shooting at the antmometer. See all the ants in there? The antmometer says 400 degrees, which is funny because that's been, well, actually, the interesting part is it's been peopling pretty well for a while. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, if you want to barbecue stuff, you can't do that kind anymore. Pretty high-end knobs, too. And the, you know, the uh, igniter doesn't work anymore. So, the charboil red is stainless rust. Because the red is rust. And, uh... Oh, yeah. They're barbecuing. So I beg my pardon. Jeff is busy inside, sitting, schmoozing with the guests. And I'm hanging out here like the outcast because nobody likes me kind. And uh, like I said, I'm empty, so I'm going to fix that.